Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. Uh, for those of you who are coming back, welcome back to the Virgo saga. Love saga for Virgos. If you want to get a personal reading, you guys, there's a link in the description box below this video. Just click that link. That will take you right to my booking site. You can get a same day reading. All right, you guys. Let's take a look and see what is going on in Virgo's love drama, love saga. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Be mindful. Some of the messages may or may not resonate, so take what fits. Leave the rest. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Wow, interesting. Okay. Um, page of Wands. Oh, some communication coming in here. Okay, Six of Wands, Ten of Swords, something ending, something beginning. The Fool, Aquarian Energy, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, and the Two of Swords. Bottom of the deck. Okay. You have the three of pentacles so there's a reunion of some sort here happening uh some of you going out going out on the town with friends um enjoying your lives Ooh, okay there's also a secret a secret reunion high priestess energy and for others like you're going out secretly and not telling anybody okay and okay the queen of wands is here again Two of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Okay. Um, you could be meeting a fire sign while you're out. Okay. For some of you, if you're going out, having fun, doing whatever, doing whatever you got to do, enjoying your life, you could be out shopping, you could be at a party, going out with friends. Um, some of you are going to a tarot party, I just heard. <laughs> I'm feeling like really indulging yourself, but pacing yourself as well. Um, I don't know if this is advice. Nine plus two, that's 11. Some of you might be meeting and then, oh my goodness. And the high priestess is a two, but that looks like an 11. Right when I said that, <clears throat> some of you are meeting your, your other half male or female uh definitely meeting your other half okay let's take a look and see what your love messages are here so if anybody has plans you're going out over the weekend or you're going to out with some friends or going to do something with someone there could be somebody you might be connecting with and for others you've got a fire sign here that wants to have some kind of a reunion with you um a secret rendezvous <laughs> Or a secret kind of reunion kind of thing. All right, let's take a look. What are your love messages here? So far, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, very soon. Decision needs to be made or is getting made. Or you're making a decision or somebody here is making a decision. Calling in your soulmate. You are, I was seeing that here, some kind of message. You're getting a phone call from somebody. You're getting a phone call. Something you've been hoping for, you've been wishing somebody would call you or reach out or communicate, it's coming in to give this relationship a chance, working on a partnership. All right, let's get into this reading here. Eight of Pentacles, three of Pentacles, eight plus three, 11. Who is your person, Virgo? Who is your person? There's somebody here that's trying to come in uh, wants to come back or just get together with you okay and this for some of you somebody you work with or someone you're at school with if you're in school or doing any kind of training or something let me see here but I feel like it's going to be happening pretty quickly okay yep just like I said the chariot cancer energy here this is travel as soon as somebody's finished work or a project that they're on, they're coming on in. Coming on in. <laughs> the, 
there might be somebody who's training or they're training somebody at work or being trained, but it feels like they may have had to travel for a work kind of thing, but it feels like as soon as this project, I'm just hearing as soon as this project is over, as soon as this work thing I'm doing, as soon as the weekend hits, you know, the nine to five is done, you know, whatever it might be, however your person, uh, I feel like there's communication. Can we get together? Let's see. Three of Pentacles. Wow, the star. Okay, that's healing. Aquarian energy. Your person might be a public figure. They might be working on, um, maybe they have a YouTube channel or they're in the entertainment business or they're doing something connected to that. This is definitely renewal. I feel like this person is hoping that you will accept their invitation or their offer to come towards you, right? So there's nothing major serious, I feel, except the Ten of Swords sits in the center of the reading. So this gives me a sense that this person is surrendering to something here and the Fool's right next to it again. And with that six of wands, that connects me to the star. So there's someone here with a level of fame. Okay. Let's take a look at this page of wands. What is this actual, what is this text message or phone call? Eight of wands, they wanna come. <laughs> they wanna come. It's down here, there's so much travel and action being taken here in this connection. This person wants to come towards you. They want to be with you. They want to connect with you, Virgo. Travel, 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 travel. Travel with you or travel together or travel back and forth, okay? Cupid's arrows here. So, you know, it doesn't have to be like at a distance. Some of you could be at a distance, but for others, this could just be, let's make plans to meet somewhere or to connect somebody wanting to connect. Now, this could be a past person because there is somebody hoping for a renewal, okay, or a reunion. And for others, this could be somebody coming in who you might know at work or you're meeting at work and is asking, you want to get together over the weekend or do something when you're both free, Okay, so I have to tell you, Virgo, expect some kind of communication either from a past person or somebody new who's interested in you wants to spend some time with you or connect with you, okay? It's Aquarian energy, it's Cancer energy. Uh, it could be Pisces for some, it could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Okay. Now, they just gave me the Nine of Pentacles, and I wasn't clarifying, clarifying anything, but I feel like for you, Virgo, this is really your card, okay? You're, you're looking pretty good. You're looking financially stable. You look like you've got your shit together. You look like you are dressing with fine, lint, uh, fine threads. You're taking good care of yourself. You're single. Um, you're looking to date or just be independent and not be in anything too heavy or compromising at this time. You're very focused on self, building your business, doing the things you're doing. But some of you do want a renewal with someone. You're missing someone. Now, I'm not seeing the missing card here, but something did end. <clears throat> and your person, whoever this person is, if this is your past person, this person is like, yes, definitely calling, calling in your soulmate. So if you've been hoping or wishing, for this person to reach out to you, I feel like they're going to. It's going to just come as like, it's just going to come out of the blue. That's how I feel. Okay. Like you're not going to expect it because this fool card is just making me feel like it's one of those situations where this person just stumbles in front of like some, it's, it's, there's a stumbling feeling like they just, I mean, maybe they're going to stumble in front of you, but it feels mostly like just out of nowhere, you know, like 
you ever see those pianos just just fall from the upper floor and boom right on the ground like it's just surprise even though the fool card's not a surprise card it feels like that like it's very like carelessness like it's just this person just boom out of nowhere okay so let's take a look at the six of pentacles this this is an energy your person like i said could have some level of fame or just be popular or be a winner at something maybe they're you know getting some kind of an award or recognition for a job well done and it was very important to them this work that they have to do and things are looking really good this person might be flying into town for work where you are and you guys reconnect for some that's not everybody um because some of you i just feel like there are some virgos here who um you just have a connection with someone that you don't have a relationship with that you don't want a relationship with because you're happy on your own doing your own thing so some of you are in that energy okay while others are like yeah it'd be nice to have a lover right someone new or if the past comes back and something can work there yeah the star though i uh, for those of you that had like a difficult thing um I feel like this person wants to heal the relationship, but you have to want to heal it as well, okay? But I do feel like this person wants to heal it for sure, okay? So let's take a look. Six of Wands. Oh, wow. Yeah, Ten of Cups. That's what I'm saying. The hard stuff's over. Betrayals. There's forgiveness. There's freedom from all that. Um, if this person betrayed you, um, they're calling they want to win your heart they want to be with you again that kind of thing and i know some of you are like we've heard all this before but you know and i have seen some of you post in the comments like hey that reading right when i was listening my person did just that they reached out so you know don't knock it let me see here and don't post in my chat that you've heard all this before because i don't like that like if you don't want to <laughs> If you don't want to listen, then you can just go. <laughs> like, I, I mean, it's just so rude. Like, it, that's like going into somebody's house and they invite you for dinner. And then you say, well, it's just the same old food every single time you invite us. Like, hello, could you not be more rude? Don't come then. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, the world is here. Yeah, ready to start a new chapter after this total breakdown whoever this person is is hit rock bottom ready to start over there's the world communication over the internet some of you they might get that um phone call um if you're at a distance to each other or halfway across the world or somewhere in different places in the world okay um aquarius leo taurus scorpio energy a lot of aquarius showing up here a lot okay yeah seeking peace they want to come rest with you, Virgo. They want to come lay down next to you. They want to lay with you, Virgo. They want to get laid. <laughs> I know some of you are like, yep, come on by. And others of you are like, no, I'm not giving that up, blah, blah, blah. And I just, I'm looking for the real thing. So, you know, it depends on who you are. Remember, I'm reading for like at least 10, 20,000 people here that are watching my video. So, you know, you all have different situations. You all want different things. I'm not sitting in a place of judgment. Everybody's got their own thing. But I definitely feel there's travel happening here. So some of you are at a distance. There's plans being made. This person will be calling you about getting together. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. Ten, ten, and ten. Coming to your home. Coming to your work. Connecting. Um leaving work to come to you okay or to be by your side or lay down with you um this ten of pentacles i mean this is like safety and security virgo you're safe for this person they feel you're safe they feel you're i just heard safe word they want you to say the safe word <laughs> you know we get candid on here all right leaving a legacy have children this could be about making a baby together for some. I know not all of you. All right, let's take a look. Seven of Pentacles. Oh, there's some truth they want to tell you. They want to tell you why they didn't um, 
why they didn't give this your relationship a chance here. Um, do you know what it was, Virgo? They weren't sure. They weren't sure. They weren't sure about you. They weren't sure about the connection. And that's why I feel for some of you, it didn't go anywhere. Because they were, a lot of them, just spent too much time being stagnant and not moving, thinking too much, overthinking it. Were you dealing with an earth sign? Some of you person could have had earth in their chart somewhere placement. Um, so yeah, it feels like this person's energy was basically like, well, you know, I don't know what I want. I'm not sure that this is what I want. I don't know if I want to be in this relationship. They get clarity though. And then they, as soon as they have that clarity here with the ace of swords, then boom, they move towards you super quick. They know what they want now and they want to be with you. Okay. Even if this is somebody new coming in, um, after healing, after dealing with some work stuff, they're ready to start dating. Um, and you, something about you, Virgo, it's like, it just hits them with you for the new, for the new, someone new coming in. They don't have to think twice. They don't need to take months and months and years and years to figure out if they were want to be with you. They it's within a reasonable amount of time. Um, I feel like this person will spend time with you reasonable amount of time and be able to suss you out and understand that you are someone that fits them, someone that they can actually see a life with, you know, they don't take, so it's that sweet spot. This person doesn't procrastinate or they don't make excuses. They don't take forever, but then they don't rush in too fast where it's like, gonna burn out too fast this is more like someone who's taking their time here and they will take their time okay for others you were with someone that did take their time and now they finally woke up but some of you might just be like no i don't want that anymore it's been too long i waited too long you made me wait too long um okay strength is here on the eight of wands so that's leo energy Oh boy. For some of you where this person was take, making you wait or taking a really long time, it's taking so much courage and strength for them to come towards you because I feel like they know that either you're going to block them or they have a strong sense that you're going to block them or you're not going to try. You're just going to stalemate them or not. You'll be undecided or you may not want to have a connection with them anymore. Um, they are aware. This person is aware um, that you're a single and you're looking good and you got your money right and you're independent and you're taking care of yourself and you can have anybody you want and they're aware of that and for a lot of you um, they put their career ahead of you ahead of the relationship and some of you Virgos just made the decision you know what I'm going out I'm going to go out and meet people I'm going to socialize go on dating apps I'm going to see who else is out there not because you don't love this person but because it was a freaking insult. <laughs> it was like an insult, right? It's like when you have your house up for sale and let's say you have it up for sale for like 200K and somebody comes in and makes an offer and they bid 20K. Like you don't do that. That's an insult. If you can't afford homes in this area, you need to just keep it stepping. You can't make a low ball offer like that. That is so insulting. You know, and you were receiving lowball offers from someone. And some of you accepted the lowball offers because you didn't see your value, your self worth. And a lot of you have woken up to your self worth and you are not accepting lowball offers from people. Okay, so what's another example of a lowball offer is. Someone telling you they're going to, you know, you guys are going to go out, like, if you're female, you meet someone, and they're going to take you out to a nice dinner. I'm just using this as an example. And they skimp on the meal, okay? Or they, it's like somebody who wants to have the best of all worlds, but doesn't put any effort and energy into having that. So it's, 
it feels to me like that was what was happening here. And a lot of you, because you loved the person, because you cared, because you were willing and ready and you wanted to wait and things like that, you settled for a lot less than you should have and deserved. And I feel like this person knows it. Now, are they coming in able to give you what it is that you want? I feel like, yeah, Ten of Pentacles is here. Okay, so that's the highest. Close enough, they can't give you a fortune, like the Wheel of Fortune. Um, they don't have that kind of, they don't have that ability, but they can give you everything that you need um, to give you safety and to give you a sense of structure, financial stability, a home, um, a place where, or a situation where you will feel like this is good. This is good, right? They come in and they place not only the highest bid, but a little bit over what the asking price for you. I know it sounds very transactional. Um, there's a, there's a, there's a lot of things out there about, you know, transactional love and then just loving willy nilly. You know, I think it's good to be somewhere in between. You got to kind of just look at each particular situation in a unique way, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with having your standards and expecting someone to treat you well and to respect you and value you. Um, but I also think, I don't think you should unconditionally love uh, anyone but your children or your pets. <laughs> but I feel like love um, with a partner is also about acceptance and understanding. So I feel like they can all commingle. They had, they just and compassion. They just have to commingle in a lot of different ways. And each situation is going to be different. You know, um, it's like the old saying: you get further with. Um, always again with my quotes, you get further with honey than you do with. I know you're all going to put it in the chat. So you know what I mean. <laughs> vinegar. You get further with honey than you do with vinegar. I don't know. All right. So this person's aware um, that they may have low-balled you in the past, if this was a past person. Um, and they're aware that you may be blocking them. And here, three of cups, that you're out seeking another lover. Or you're just out enjoying your life. Some of you are not going back. Okay. But they're going to try to come in and actually offer up what you deserve. Okay. For some, it might be too late. For others, you might welcome it. Okay. Um, however, you've crossed a line here now, Virgo, because now you're about self. Whereas before, maybe you weren't as much, but you've learned some great lessons and you have the Nine of Pentacles here. So this is your energy. You're single as a Pringle and you're just really enjoying your life right now. You may not want to get into a committed relationship, some of you, um, because you've just, you need a break from that. Okay. Some of you just want to be in a relationship with your bank account. That's fine. Do what you got to do. And others of you um, have done so well for yourselves that you're ready and you're open to hearing this person out. If they're ready to work on the partnership and they're serious about it, like I said yesterday, some of you will be definitely ready for that, okay? Um, so it really just depends. Let me see. Let's get the love messages. Either way, whether it's somebody new or the past coming back in, you're good, Virgo. Either way, whoever's coming in, you are fine. You're looking fine. You're doing fine. You're happy where you are. Life is getting better for you, at least day by day. Um, and you're coming to terms with you have you, right? And you have friends and you have other options here. You have a lot of, there might be more than one person trying to reconnect with you. Okay, could be your friends. You might be relying heavily on your friends or family or sisters or brothers, spending a lot of time with them. Let's see. I feel like the past person is definitely in this position of um, 
having made a decision about the two of you, about about you, um, that you are a wish come true for them. Um, they've kept that hidden from you, Virgo. I think you need to know that. This person was not openly, did not openly share their feelings with you. And you really needed to hear more than once a day that they love you. You needed to hear more than once every five years. You needed to hear that this person loved you and not only hear it, but you needed them to show it. And I don't feel like this person really, either they weren't showing it or they didn't know how to show it, but they kept everything within. And I feel like a lot of you had, had said that this is like, you know, I feel, I, they just gave me an image here. Um, I don't know if some of you were thinking this, but I just see like, um, like a baby in a nursery and, and that's why they have, um, people that would come in and sit in the rocking chairs and rock the babies. They didn't have any mothers or fathers. They were like abandoned babies and they would go in and nurture the babies. That's like an actual thing because babies, you know, they humans have to be touched. They have to be felt. They have to be loved. They have to be cared for. We have to nurture each other. Yeah, we got the whole transactional. Yeah, you got to like show me respect and stuff right that's another piece of it but it, at the end of the day like without that hand holding and touching and caring and sharing emotions and being comforting each other um or even being physically intimate some of you didn't even have that and so i think you felt starved for affection starved for love and it just became like this partnership from hell and a lot of you just made a decision that you were going to try to find someone who wanted to hold you. Not like a baby, but would care for you and that you could touch and feel and smell, like to use all your senses. Because Virgo, Virgo represents, you know, the earthly senses. Virgo is the most sensual sign, not the sexy, but the sensual. Virgo needs to feel touch smell taste visualize hear you know you're everything the senses are what stimulate you and if you're not touched or felt or you you know virgo you like things sterile and clean but i'll tell you what that only goes so far you can be very passionate people we all are aren't we as virgos some of us need more touching than others. Some of us, depending on the scent, <laughs> you know, we have specifics. But at the end of the day, I just feel like you were starved for affection or you feel now that you are starved for affection and you want that more than anything. All right, let's take a look at this person's love messages for you. I hide behind material things. Okay. So they were blocking, hiding behind material things, work. They weren't being emotional or watery with you. Um, let's see. I'm afraid to contact you. Yeah, I said that. They're thinking about it, though, but they, they feel like you, you might not be... Um, this is for the past person. You may not be open to receiving them. For somebody new who is interested in you, they have a fear of contacting you because they're intimidated by you. And I don't know why that is, but I get this picking up this energy that this person feels like, oh, Virgo will never say yes. Virgo will just, either they have you up on a really high pedestal or they've got themselves like, down in the basement, whichever it is. Either way, it's relative here. Okay, I look for you everywhere. All right, we find that. We get that card all the time, right? I hope that you can forgive me one day. Okay. Yeah, for starving you of affection. 
I hid who I really am from you. Yeah, this person, I don't know if they had some great fear. They might have been nervous about the physical intimacy or felt like it wasn't important. But you felt either neglected or abandoned, that you weren't worthy of that. Or some of you have been in um, virtual relationships where there was no physical contact, which was depleting. And some of you decided you were going to date others so that you could just have that physical touch. I wish things could be different. Okay, so this person does want to make some changes here. I want to be more than friends. Okay. And you speak to me through music. All right, I don't know if some of you actually sing or you play music or a guitar or something. I will wait for a sign from you before I make my move. Yes, that's what this is. I mean, they're going to they're going to reach out, Virgo. This person is going to communicate and reach out to you, but I also feel that that's just the um they're going to pre-oil the connection first. Okay, primer, a little primer first before they actually make their move. As soon as they get a sign that you are willing to explore it more, either again or for the first time, then once they get that sign, then they're going to come in super fast. I bury myself in work to forget you. Huh. It's pretty sad. I feel you leaving me behind. Yeah. Well, Virgo, I just kind of feel like you, you're not trying to leave this person behind. I feel like you do love this person. But without that physical uh, thing, once that's gone, that's the end of it then it's just friendship and maybe some of you decided all right we'll just be casual friends we'll just be acquaintances or we'll just chit chat now and then accepting that offer is a low ball offer if you accepted that from somebody who you had a physical tie to that's what they offered they're low balling you and that you sh if if you haven't done this yet you need to do this now Get the F away from me. No, we cannot be friends. You made a soul tie with me. We had a physical connection. We were naked together. You saw me. You saw everything. I am a sacred being. And you, I let you there. I let you go there. And now you just want to be friends? You're going to get that person. You're going to kick him to the curb. No, because that's low ball. Mm-mm. It's bullshit. That's what that is. We we'll never accept that. Never ever. I feel like we're going back to yesterday's reading. Walk the coals. Get to stepping. <laughs> this feels like a continuation. Walk the coals. Get to stepping. All right. Let's see what your advice is here. Because I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I mean, this person does want to come in and heal this. I do feel that. I do feel that. But I feel like they're going to, they may, for some of you, like they know that you're gone. Some of you, they know that you're gone. And I don't feel like they, I feel like, you know, Virgo, it feels to me like, I just heard that song, since you've been gone. I can breathe for the first time. I'm so moving on. Yeah, yeah. So some of you, listen, you yourselves got to step in. You yourselves said, I'm out here. Deuces. And this person, even though they're afraid to contact you, even though they're waiting for a sign, it's like, even though they've hit rock bottom, the fact that they can't come back to you or the fact that you may say no or they find out that you've got someone else or you've moved on to someone else, now it's going to be on. Now it's going to be on for this person. Now you're going to really see them kicking up some dirt. Sometimes you got to kick a little dirt. Keep what you love. Now you're going to see them kicking up some dirt. That horse is going to be kicking up dirt all around. Smoke screen so no one can see what they're doing and they're coming back. I just see like 
the roadrunner, like as fast as a roadrunner, leaving a trail of dust coming after you. Oh, and they gave you two cards here. Okay. So you have the nine of wands. Stand up for yourself. Protect what you have. Can't see the cards because I have my lights a little too dark here. Be prepared. Never give up. Ask your angels for help. Some of you might be involved in environmental activism or animal rights, but anyway, be prepared. Some of you are going to need to get that shield out to block because you may need to, some of you, some of you are like, here we go again. They're coming back around. You'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Be com coming back around again. Some of you need to get your shields out and others of you you got to stand up for yourself. Remember, your self-worth is more important than how anybody else. I say this all the time. Maybe I haven't said it to you, but I say this all the time. A diamond in a jewelry store will always retain its value whether someone walks in or drives by and doesn't go in at all. Do you think that when you drive past a jewelry store, that just because you drove by that store, you passed on it, you said no? Do you think the jewelry in that dot in that jewelry store has now lost its value? No. That diamond in that jewelry store stays high value, whether someone comes in or leaves or just passes. The value never changes. The market changes the value, but we're just figuratively speaking here. If someone comes in and they don't see your worth and they choose not to put a down payment on your worth and invest and they leave, your value does not decrease. It just means that you were not for them. But somebody will come in and will invest, okay? Now, can that person who did not see your value and your worth have had a change of heart or just decided it wasn't going to work or contemplated maybe they didn't have enough money they didn't have what it takes they weren't able to give you what you want and they left can they come back in and be ready again to to invest yes the question is will you already have somebody else investing in you because Some of you may not. Some of you might just want to sit there and look pretty <laughs> for a little while. <laughs> no matter what, at the end of the day, your value doesn't change. Period. Point blank period. Okay. So you have the Knight of Swords. Decisive, focused, driven, defensive. Events that move with great speed. Choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional. Sudden or unexpected changes. Review your options carefully here, Virgo. Somebody's coming in at full speed ahead. Somebody new could be both. Still Mercury retrograde. This could be your past person and somebody new coming in. And that seems to happen a lot. Or, you know phone calls or messages or something along those lines. Oh, you have the six of wands. This is victory. Wise choices that bring public recognition and success. Promotions, awards, scholarships. You're getting recognized because you know why, Virgo? You see your value. Okay. I'm just going to call it as I see it. The six of cups. I'm sorry. The two of cups is here. Okay, right when I put this down. So there's definitely friends turning into lovers. There's soulmate energy happening here. Um, there's definitely two people connecting. You're going on, don't think that you're going to be single as a Pringle, like all by yourself or lonely for the rest of this month of October. I definitely feel like you're going to be connecting with others or at least two others or at le very least one other person. It's not going to be just you, Virgo. But this card says 
falling in love or the resurgence of a romantic relationship. That's what I said. Forgiveness and the ending of challenges, exchanging gifts. And it says, don't give up on people you love. Cupid's arrows is coming in. Somebody's getting shot. I shot the sheriff, but I did not shoot the deputy. I'll tell you what, my database. All right, let me see. Let's get your charms. I must remember to put more light. Okay, somebody's born in the year of the snake. Okay, so we got a snake. <laughs> um, why does that immediately, they just gave me the Marines. Does the Marines in the American Marines, does that have anything to do with a snake? Does anybody know? I don't know. I've just got the Marines, military. Does anyone know if that's connected? A snake? Uh, some of you have your plumber coming in. It's going to snake your drain. Do you know what I mean? Little plumber crack. <laughs> we have a tool here, a wrench. No, literally, you've got someone coming in here to fix your, your plumbing. And you might have like um, a little spark with your plumber. <laughs> I guess there's female plumbers. I've never met a, a female who's a plumber, but I guess there's female plumbers. Um, yeah, but there's a wrench. Somebody's going to come in and it's going to throw a wrench into your relationship with your past person who's trying to come back because now there's going to be a little competition a little choice you're gonna have to make you know some of you are just like i already made my choice i don't want the past back and for others you're gonna be like oh god there's somebody new i don't want somebody new i'm not ready but whatever i don't see you getting into a deep dark relationship with somebody new i just see you having some fun for a little while and you know getting touched okay so we have the Star of David. So somebody could be from Israel um, or of the Jewish, Jewish religion. Um, also, I just saw with that, which is strange, I've never seen that before, an origami star. Origami star. I don't know what that might connect to or if that connects to you in some way. Origami star. And then somebody likes licorice. Somebody eat a lot of licorice or likes licorice. You might be eating licorice right now. Uh, it's black. It's black licorice, you guys. And then we've also got um, a pair of scissors. Okay, so maybe somebody's a hairdresser. You're getting your hair, about to get your hair done, or you work with scissors doing cutting something maybe right now you could be cutting somebody's a mechanic okay you could be cutting something or somebody works with tools is what i'm hearing i still keep seeing that plumber you get a little plumber crack let me see i just heard oh my gosh the database of music i don't even think that's what it is i just feel like i've got a singing spirit that's what I have. I have a, a spirit that likes to sing and give me messages. Don't think that, trust me, if you knew me in real life, you'd know that I can never pull songs up. I've even admitted that to people. But when I'm doing your readings, I've got a singing spirit. I just heard the song Mercedes Benz from like the late 80s. Mercedes Benz. I just, I see the girl singing it and the, that's how old i am see the girl singing the video but mercedes benz i think that's it you'll have to look it up <laughs> boyfriend did you gonna treat me so bad <laughs> mercedes maybe somebody drives a mercedes benz i don't know mercedes <laughs> 
Or maybe you're going to buy a Mercedes, get a new car. The chariot is here. Your person may have bought a Mercedes, so they bought a new car, or they're going to buy you one. Um, somebody shows up in a Mercedes, though. I know that. For some of you, it's white, and for others, it's silver. Do they make white Mercedes Benzes? I usually just see them in black, but... All right, we got the Texas Longhorn, and then I'm hearing Texas Rose. Okay. Um, also, we have a Taurus. You're connecting with a Taurus, some of you. Okay, you got a Taurus coming in. A very bullheaded Taurus. Slow, stubborn bull. Doesn't make up their mind. Just kind of takes his time or her time. So we have a rose here, a gold rose. Maybe somebody's name is Rose. So there's a nickname Rose or a last name Rose. I'm pulling some more charms, you guys. I really like the charms tonight. But I am going to like cut it short though, actually. Let me get one more. Oh, so we have a bicycle. I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride it now. I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride it where I like. I see black, I see white. All right, are you on your bike right now listening to this reading? Because kudos to you. You're listening to me while you're riding your bike. Um, maybe somebody bought a new bike. Holy moly, the four of wands. I wasn't asking anything. It just flipped out. There's definitely marriage here. Somebody's riding their bike home. Um, or you just put your bike in your house. Somebody wins a bike at some kind of a party or event or some type of thing. Somebody wins like a bike, either for a kid, maybe you already did, maybe did in the past. <coughs> um, I just heard your your mom or your sister wants to go bike riding with you or is going to ask you or did ask you about taking a bike trip somewhere. And then I'm hearing somebody, somebody has a motorcycle. Oh, and then, oh yeah, gosh, all this, they keep coming through. Somebody lost their, they get a DUI, DWI, drunk driving, and now they're riding a bike. That's all they're doing is they can't get anywhere, but they got to ride their bike because they lost their driver's permit or their license. And they live at home. This person's living at home. They moved, they had to move back home. I don't know, some of you are like, I'm not, ain't nobody going out with that, nobody going out with that person. Mm -mm. You moved home because you're drunk? Mm -mm. Keep it stepping. Okay. Or somebody doesn't have a car. One person's got a Mercedes and the other one's got a freaking bike. So I don't know who the hell you all are dating here. Like, seriously. We have all kinds of stuff going on here. I mean, at least we have wheels, but you know, some of you are okay. You're like, yeah, you want to go to a fancy restaurant? Sure, babe, hop on the back of my bike. Get on the handlebars. We'll make it more fun. I'll ride you on my handlebars. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave your reading. That was fun. I hope that resonated. And for some, I hope it did not. And again, if you want a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. I will be here Friday evening from 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to do paid mini readings. <clears throat> so if you want to get a mini reading from me, 20 bucks, one card, ask any question you want, just pop it in the super chat and I will give you um, a quickie. If you have two questions, then it's $40 and I'll pay two cards and so on and so forth, okay? So that's open for those of you who wanna do that and I'll be letting you know about the membership, VIP membership that I'll be offering here on my channel soon. As soon as I get that information, I'll post it in my community and I'll mention it here in my videos. All right, you guys, I hope you all have a lovely evening, a lovely morning and a lovely day and I will talk to you all tomorrow. All right, take care, bye.